Producer Scott Rudin will step back from active involvement in his Broadway shows in response to allegations of abusive and bullying treatment of employees stretching back for years, Deadline has confirmed. In a statement released this morning, Rudin said he was profoundly sorry for the pain my behavior caused to individuals, directly and indirectly, and that he would step back from active participation on our Broadway productions, effective immediately. Deadline has obtained the statement, initially released exclusively to the Washington Post. Read it in full below. Among Rudin's current Broadway productions are Aaron Sorkin's hit adaptation of To Kill a Mockingbird, Evo Van Hove's reimagining of West Side Story, the long-running The Book of Mormon and the upcoming The Music Man starring Hugh Jackman and Sutton Foster. The shows, as with all Broadway productions, are currently suspended due to the COVID pandemic shutdown. Rudin's statement did not indicate that he would officially resign or cease participation in his productions altogether. Rudin's workplace behavior and ill treatment of assistants dating back decades was recently brought to the fore in a Hollywood Reporter article, in which four former employees spoke of intimidation, bullying and, in at least one instance, physical violence during their times in the Rudin office. In his first public statement to the press, Despite repeated requests this week from Deadline and other publications, Rudin said in today's three-paragraph email, much has been written about my history of troubling interactions with colleagues, and I am profoundly sorry for the pain my behavior caused to individuals, directly and indirectly. After a period of reflection, he continued, I've made the decision to step back from active participation on our Broadway productions, effective immediately. My roles will be filled by others from the Broadway community and in a number of cases, from the roster of participants already in place on those shows. My passionate hope and expectation is that Broadway will reopen successfully very soon, and that the many talented artists associated with it will once again begin to thrive and share their artistry with the world. I do not want any controversy associated with me to interrupt Broadway's well-deserved return, or specifically, the return of the 1,500 people working on these shows. Rudin's response follows what might now be viewed as the turning point in the Broadway community's refusal to tolerate or stay silent on the mistreatment of employees by producers and other industry leaders. Earlier this week, as Deadline reported, Moulin Rouge star Karen Olivo announced in a widely viewed Instagram video that she would not return to that production, which is not produced by Rudin when Broadway reopens as a way of protesting the industry's silence over Rudin's behavior and other longtime injustices.